conference is here for the 4 p.m. window games. Let's get to it. The Cowboys are bad. The Cowboys are really bad. They're currently losing by 38 points at home to the Detroit Lions. They are bad. Very, very bad. Can't wait to hear Jerry crying like a little girl after this one. Also going on in the NFL, everybody, Jim Harbaugh goes to the blue tent into the locker room pregame with an illness, comes back out, and the Chargers defeat the Broncos handily in Denver. It's Russell Wilson's fault that the Broncos got their butts kicked today. Sean Payton will blame Russell Wilson. You'll see. Also, Kirk Cousins doing his thing for the Falcons, putting up a ton of points and a win over the Lions. But folks, we'll make sure that you hear everything from all these games. And of course, the Steelers beating the Raiders. You'll hear more of that right now. This afternoon, everybody, the Steelers got the job done on the road over the Vegas Raiders. Our final today was Pittsburgh 32, Las Vegas 13. We will be very interested, everybody, to hear what Mike Tomlin has to say at the post-game press conference as everyone, even though the Steelers won by 19 today, and we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll hear from Mike Tomlin. We will hear from Justin Fields and so on and so forth. But I still believe that there is a QB uh, competition still. And everybody, uh, don't let the 32 up on the board fool you. A lot of that was because of the Steelers' elite defense and special teams work. I mean, TJ Watt by himself forced Two turnovers, two forced fumbles, one of them in a goal line situation. Dante Jackson also had an interception with a pretty lengthy return. The Steelers special teams group blocked a punt and put Pittsburgh in a first and goal situation. So the Steelers had a ton of situations here where they were... That was, goal a turn to go that was a turnover situations. there on that punt. They don't count blocked punts as turnovers. Yeah, they nope. should. They don't. Because he ran for a touchdown. And... He did not run for a touchdown. Oh, was that, wasn't that this game he ran for a touchdown or not? No, that, that was a blocked field goal in the Cleveland-Philadelphia game. Oh, okay. And that's still not classified as a turnover. But anyway, folks, the Steelers get it done. They are 4-2 and two on the year. Big-time conference win. Definitely a win you don't apologize for having. And next up, everybody, the Steelers come home for two games prior to the bye week. Next up, Sunday night football at home over the New York Jets. And then the following week, Monday night football at home over the New York Giants. Some of the final stats for this one, everybody. Uh, Najee Harris offensively was the show. 14 carries, 106 yards, and a touchdown. Rushing. Justin Fields had two rushing touchdowns. His legs and his mobility was his strong suit today on the ground. 11 carries, 59 yards, and two scores as a runner. As a passer, was off. As a passer today, he was off. 14 to 24, 145 yards, took three sacks. Brock Bowers led all receivers today with nine catches and 71 yards. The young rookie tight end for the Raiders. Steelers had one sack on defense today. It was by Cameron Hayward. Props to Patrick Queen today. He was busy in the middle of that field all day long. 13 tackles. Game high 13 tackles today for Patrick Queen. So good to see him with that. 
And the Steelers, good job overall as a whole. A win, and they're 4-2.